Ghana, there are five coastal Ramsar sites and then one inland Ramsar site. And this Munipomazi Ramsar site is one of the five coastal Ramsar sites that we have under the management of the Wildlife Division of the Forestry Commission. The Ramsar site was designated in the early 80s when there was the need to conserve migratory birds. But later on, other migratory species were also added to conserve the whole wetland, not only for the birds, but also for those migratory species. Munipomazi Ramsar site, which has a size of about 90 kilometers squared, is located between Accra and Cape Coast. It is one of the wetlands of international importance because it serves so many purposes for the local communities that live within and around the Ramsar site. Wetlands in general play a lot of ecologically important roles and they help in the socio-economic development of most coastal communities where they are located. The wetland provides fertile grounds for cultivation of food. Diverse food like uh, corn, vegetables especially, maize and cassava and plantain are all cultivated within the wetland. The wetland also serves as habitat for several wildlife species. We have a lot of birds, we have mammal species like monkeys, we have reptiles and amphibians, and notably we have sea turtles coming to nest in the Munipomaze Ramsar site. Again, the wetland helps to provide fish. Most of the fish that we get in the ocean come to nest in wetland areas like the mangrove, breed in wetland areas like the mangrove, and then when their fingerlings are matured enough, they move into the ocean through the estuaries. Most of the coastal communities here use mud to build their houses, and they use uh, uh, grasses that come from the wetland to roof their houses. So therefore, the wetland help us to get accommodation and also a place to lay our heads when one is tired from her or her daily activities. With the use of the traditional hunting grounds as a place for the bushback during the celebration of the Abuachi festival, the Munipomazi Ramsar site helps the Futu people to perpetrate or continue with their rich Futu culture, which is the Abuachi festival. Without the hunting grounds, the festival will not be a good or a very exciting one to come to. The Munipomazi Ramsar site, although provides several benefits for the local communities, is being faced with a lot of threats, which is challenging and degrading the ecological integrity of the site. One major threat that is facing the site right now is destruction of mangroves. Local communities have the belief that if you smoke your fish with mangrove, it tastes better and the color also looks good. There's also the belief that the fish when it's smoked with mangrove fetches more money than when it's smoked with other wood. So therefore mangroves in Munipomazi Ramsar site are highly degraded for those purposes. Even those who do not smoke fish will want to go and harvest mangroves to sell to make some money because of the high demand of mangroves for smoking fish. And this has left most of the mangrove forest in the site being degraded up to a point where they cannot even regenerate. This project is a community-based project and the project aims to bring the communities together to sort of uh, on their own manage the resources that are here. We've identified that um, the communities specifically who are fisher folks over the years have been utilizing the resources here for their livelihood. And one of the key things that they depend on is the mangrove. However, over the years, this mangrove is being degraded, which has a direct impact on their livelihood. And uh, we strongly believe that if we are able to bring the communities together, so as for them to work together as a group, they will be able to in the long term, sustain the resources that are here for their own livelihood. Uh, the, the project has been categorized into about four main segments. One of the very first segment has to do with how women, specifically who are fishing, and uh, that is fish 
um, selling smoking related activities, they'll be able to do it profitably. And so one of the segments is to build the capacity of the women in fish processing and marketing. And then the other community is also to ensure that the ecological integrity of the area is maintained. And by this, all degraded mangrove areas within the area will be restored or rehabilitated. Uh, we have a large tract of land here that has been degraded over the years. And today, community members from Warababa and Insuetri, together with uh, key uh, stakeholders coming from the fisheries department of the municipality of Efutu, as well as the FS, the Forest Services Division, we are all here to plant um, mangrove. We want to restore the degraded areas. I am a pede, and the arrest afforded them programming what they are brain. And programming what they are brain for shy a benya womb. And in a day, your body are mangoes, and ma, a puna that one, your one nama, what you put no more work to a wabba, and mangoes, nasty wabato. Says, I don't mangoes, nina, wait, with simple search. And my says, I put one to one yan and nama, yenisha, and that walk up one, I make it and get some what's in a wanya. Eti mango si ya ande biye ye bo biya wo simpan she chini. Mpa ya ya bo ande radina la bo ton she gudu ma ebe ye ye. Ima enam no su ye benye bi. Sentu kro ana huma me tu mi huye si wada ye biya da mi biya no. Onen chitrada ya na na no ma wa bo bo a sese wakat. Wa bo in biya in huma. Ni sense ya wa bo ndua ho ban da. Ndua no na ma wa tu wa ipinu mu. Wa wa bo tu wa esudu ni mu. Na wa wa bo inchirefuwa. Nti inchirefuwa na wa wa bo ban. Wa bo ba ibika baka ni mu. Na bi su kwapu. Ti se ya nhwe de ya bo esudu no no ho ban ya. Da chi ye nya nam ni bi are inzida. Sa sa ye penfu wa bo da mu ma de na. In Chayama, Yamwa to the mayor is to be as to do the other old Yama. In Yama, Yatra, Ukraine in Asia, Kagan and Mamma in Arahu. You would say, Wait, what may you to young ways who are here to be a student? My name is Cynthia Okain, Assistant District Manager. Forest Service Division of the Forestry Commission, Winneba. We are into the planting technicalities. So we help the wildlife division in annually the technical aspect of it in also planting their mangroves. So when we come, we, we let them know the planting distance that will help. And then we give them an idea that they don't have in terms of their planting. Therefore, it makes our collaborative work efficient and effective. Thank you.